On the busiest air travel day of the year, fog in Colorado is making it very difficult for travelers flying home after visiting family for Thanksgiving. There have been thousands of delays across the country all day, and they've started a ripple effect that reached Indianapolis. 24 Hour News 8's Jessica Smith is live at Indy International. And Jess, how's it looking out there? Kylie Daniel, it's a much busier night than your typical Sunday at the airport. If you look at the board here, you can see there's quite a bit of red, especially from airports out west or in Chicago. And here in Indy, there are still a lot of people just waiting to get home, and many of them still have a long night ahead. Charlie Warner and his family are trying to pass the time until he finally boards his plane. I was trying to get back to, to Denver, uh, and the flight got pushed back about an hour and a half. It's a common theme for Hoosier travelers headed west as fog covers the Denver airport. I got to drive another hour and a half after I get back from Denver, so it's going to be a long night. It may be a long night, but the airport says it's not as bad as it could be on a day when 46,000 flights take off. I think things are running fairly smooth this weekend. The delays in Indy came in waves. Flights backed up in the morning and evening hours, getting worse whenever major hubs like Chicago's Midway started backing up. All those airports, because of volume, back up, so it slows down all the aircraft coming back to Indy, uh, especially at the end of the holiday. Not all travelers found themselves stuck. Annie was one of few who got a pleasant surprise when she checked her Denver flight. Uh, I was very relieved. I'm not trying to drive home late from the airport by myself. But no one is more relieved to be on time than this family, who is more than ready to get back to Washington. Uh, we flew in uh, yesterday for the Redskins Colts game. It didn't work out too well for us. And as it starts to get colder tomorrow, the airport tells me that's when we could start seeing more delays as airports across the country start de-icing planes, de-icing runways. That's when the delays really start to add up. So before you head to the airport throughout this holiday season, make sure you check your flight status online. We have a link to the arrivals and departures board on our website, wishtv.com. Live at the airport, Jessica Smith, 24-hour, News 8.